Today I was checking my email and I received a notification. Your account storage for Google Photos is low. And so I clicked on the link uh, to ch find out more information. And it took me here. And so my current storage right now, before I emptied out my Google Drive, uh, was almost 14 gigabytes. So I emptied my Google Drive, but I wondered uh, if I could reduce the size of my Google Photos, because the 8 gigabytes here are from uh, original size pictures. I was wondering if I could reduce that to high quality, because it's not that important to me that it has to be original. I just, at one point, I didn't change the settings. So if this isn't an issue for you where your photos don't have to be original size and you want to change the size to high, high quality so it doesn't affect your current storage size, go ahead and visit photos. And that will take you to your Google Photos. And so I learned how to do this by going to the support site. And they have ways to clear space for your Google Drive, for Gmail, and Google Photos. And so I clicked on Google Photos and they said, go into your settings, photos.google.com.settings. You could just do this instead of doing what I'm going to show you. On the top left, you can click on the main menu, the three bars, and then you can select settings. This does the same thing as just typing in the URL, uh, photos.googles.settings, and that will take you to this page. And you can see that I've used five point, or I've used like eight gigabytes of full resolution images, and it's not that important to me. So this is just if you're okay with uh, downgrading the image quality, just click on recover storage. That says documentation said it'll just affect old images that are saved to your fo Google Photos. So I'll recover storage and it says it'll move the high quality, move it to high quality images. And then so I'll compress. And that's it. So after a few hours, it'll probably show that I have around 14 gigabytes left. If I go into photos.google.com slash settings, that frees up my storage. Alternatively, I could buy 100 gigabytes for $2 a month, and that's not too bad, but I'm being cheap.